everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Kin. I'm gonna read it to you. Chased by a vengeful criminal, the feds, a gang of otherworldly soldiers, a recently released ex con, and his adopted teenage brother are forced to go on a run with a weapon of mysterious or origin as their only protection. Okay? IMDb has it as a 5.6. Uh, Jack Rayner's in it. Um, Dennis Quaid is in it. Uh, Zoe Kravitz is also in it. James Franco. Now I know why it's on my list. All right, so and that's where we are so far. Um, all right, and that's that's everybody I know in it. And get into it a little bit. Find out what it's really about. I'll come back and give you a better idea of the synopsis, and then share with you what I'm thinking so far, and tell you if it's worth watching or not. So stick around. I'll be back. Kin. Hey everybody, we're watching Kin. We're actually at the exact 50 minute mark. I paused it for something else and I thought, huh, 50 minutes, I gotta talk to y'all and give you an update on what's going on. So, um, as we mentioned, uh, there's a young boy in this movie and um, he, his dad is Dennis Quaid. Hold on, I just want to get the other actor's name real quick, okay. Jack Rayner is the older brother, Dennis Quaid's the dad, and then their son is um, Miles Truitt. He's the adopted son that we know. There's no mother. Mother has died. So um, the older brother is getting out of prison um, after six years for um, stealing. Don't know the whole story, but he comes home. Um, while in prison, he paid people or he set up for people to protect him. And he owes them a lot of money. Insert James Franco and his crew. James Franco is some kind of gangster. And, um, you know, he wants his money. And so then the uh, young son just tries to steal it. Think bad things happen. Don't want to tell you the whole thing. Bad things happen. Um, but he's able to get away from them. And now he takes his younger brother, the adopted brother, and um, they're fleeing, essentially, and trying to, to go to Tahoe, in a sense. And um, <clears throat> this is, right at this point, they have now uh, met uh, Zoe Kravitz who was at a gentleman's club. Um, but backing up a little bit, the story on the younger brother, um, he kind of goes in the old places and takes the wiring out and sells the, the copper or whatever so he can make a little change for himself. He was going in the dilapidated buildings and doing that. And one of his trips, he finds some soldiers that look kind of futuristic, not like normal soldiers. They got helmets on and stuff like that, full riot gear kind of stuff. Um, and more importantly, he finds this gun. And it's a very futuristic type gun that you press a button and it opens up. And, uh, you know, he takes it, of course. Now he's had it the whole time um, without his brother knowing. As they're going over to Tahoe, or leaving to go to Tahoe, he has the gun with him. Plays with it every now and again, can kind of see what it does, but doesn't fire it. Um, but right at this point, at the 50 minute mark, he does fire it. And we can see what at least one of the options are. It just blows up a pool table kind of thing. And so we're kind of discovering what can this gun do. And also everybody else is discovering that he has this gun. So they're escaping from the gangsters. They got a stolen gun, um, some money that was stolen as well. And they're going to Tahoe. Now I think it's going to change. The gangsters are, are chasing them. And I think now obviously people know about this gun that's going to become something of an interest to, to them. So we'll see where it goes from here. Um, kind of interesting so far. It's it's really the interesting, some, one of the interesting things is, 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 you know, it's like a, a movie about a troubled brother and, and um, you know, getting his younger brother into trouble with him kind of thing. But then wrapping in this futuristic little piece. Um, so we'll see where it goes from here because nothing else about it is futuristic in this movie. So get back into it a little bit more here and see where it goes and uh, keep you updated. All right, see ya. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Ken and I have to tell you, it escalates to a better movie when you watch the whole thing. <laughs> um, I don't know how to see you when you see you know what's going on in the ending and stuff like that. So as I said, basically it's just these. Uh, I'm gonna say basically one more time and then I'm done. So. The two um, sons are on the run, or the two brothers are on the run, I'm sorry, from gangsters and cops and whatever. 
And, uh, you know, that's kind of what the movie is about. And that's what they got you believing in. They pick up a, a dancer and she's on their side. You know, how are they going to get, are they going to get, who's going to catch them first? The cops or are the gangsters going to catch them? Are they going to get away and live happily ever after? And then there's this one piece of information that you kind of forget, but the gun. This kid's got this gun that's crazy laser gun, you know? And it's like, you, you know, initially it's like, where'd it come from? Where's, and then you forget about it. It's just like, it's kind of part of the story. You wonder, are they ever going to explain to you? Well, it turns out that this, there, that subplot that I was talking about, them running, is, is a much smaller portion of this movie, and there's an overarching story being told. Um, so I thought that was very interesting on what they did um, to, to not wrap it up, but to kind of explain some things in a little bit. Uh, I think there will be a sequel. Uh, absolutely, I think there should be a sequel. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it more, but would have just ended the way I thought it was going to kind of end. I would have been disappointed, but what they did, they made it fun. Um, in a sense, uh, they brought in a little bit more of that futuristic stuff that I was talking about. Michael B. Jordan, executive producer on it, so I had no idea. Um, and a cameo as well. So he's in it. Um, they, they're, I told you about those soldiers that, you know, they, you don't know what they look like. They look futuristic. They got the whole garb on, everything like that. There's a pretty cool scene in the show, like how like agile they are. And this isn't gonna spoil anything. Guy's riding a motorcycle, right, flying, and he's gonna hit a car. Turns it, and he just rolls over the top of the car and just starts walking. You know, it's like really cool scene. But no spoiler alert. But that's just a, a thing to look out for. Anyway, if you like action movies, if you like a little bit of sci-fi. Um, I think this is definitely worth watching. If you really like sci-fi, this is worth watching. There's not a lot of sci-fi in it, but it, there's gonna be. Kin 2 or whatever we're gonna call it after that. Um, we're gonna see a little bit more sci-fi, I believe. And, and uh, you know, hopefully they do. Hopefully this does well. So I'm encouraging you to go out and rent this movie so that they do make a sequel. I don't know how it did in the box office, but uh, for me, eh, definitely not a six. I can't give it an eight because uh, it's almost it. The last 10, 20 minutes of the movie is a nine, I think. You know what I mean? Anyway, who cares? Do you really care what I give it? You know where I'm at on this one, right? And I'm bashful to give sevens because of my niece. But enough about that. Check out this movie. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. And I think you'll be excited to hopefully see the sequel. All right, that's all I'm going to say. It's worth watching. That's not, That's all I'm going to say, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. That's all I'm going to say. Kimmel's Irish Pub. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>